Hi, this is Jesse Honigberg. I'm a senior vice president at Crossover Bank in our information technology group. Um, I'm here to just give you a little bit of background on Crossover. So Crossover was founded in 2008 um, in the middle of the financial crisis by our current CEO, Jill Gade, as well as a small team of founders who believed in the mission that you can do well by doing good. And the way that we've tackled that problem over our you know, relatively short life is by thinking about where there's underserved markets and underserved customers and how we can solve problems for them in a unique and differentiated way. Um, the biggest and most notable place is in our marketplace lending capabilities and we are um, one of the first and now one of the largest marketplace lenders in the United States. So powering people like a firm and helping them deploy capital and make loans to, to all sorts of people. Um, and we've built systems and technology and processes to help support that effort at, at tremendous scale. Um, after that, we continue to believe in differentiating with technology and we built our own core lending platform, I'm sorry, our core banking platform, which is pretty tremendous undertaking, um, as well as bespoke payment capabilities. So wires, ACH, um, even things like real-time payments with the clearinghouse or debit push to card using um, Visa Direct and uh, MC Send um, are, are all things that we have directly available at an API level um, and really power our banking as a service, as well as our payments as a service, as well as our embedded banking platforms. And you know, I think that when we think about who Cross River is, it's really a platform. It's a platform that enables people to do really interesting things, to solve difficult problems, and to really think about what banking should be on their terms, right? How do they take their customer experience and wrap a bank into the back end of it? And we take our responsibility as a bank tremendously seriously, tremendously, with a tremendous amount of seriousness, and that it's really about how do we think about doing all the things of a technology platform, right? And how do we make sure that we um, honor our obligations as a financial institution? And how do we make sure that we keep that symbiotic relationship between our partners um, as well as the, the general banking system working? And so I think the best example of that is the PPP program. And, and Crossover found tremendous success um, kind of when, when the COVID-19 crisis hit. And we really leaned into it. And so our financial technology platform, we lent our lending expertise and built a, a compliance engine, essentially layer, on top of our lending capabilities to service the PPP loans from our partners, um, as well as one of the first direct integrations to the SBA eTran system. And we leveraged our payments capabilities to fund you know, nearly half a million loans, um, making us the second largest PPP lender in the United States from a bank with a you know, sub $10 billion balance sheet. Um, and you know, I think the future for us is wide open. Um, we really think about where and when and what type of capabilities we're gonna add to that platform. Um, whether it's deepening our expertise and our offering on the card issuing and acquiring side, um, looking at new and better payment options, um, whether it's FedNow or, or going overseas into SEPA and, and some other interesting things, um, or on the lending side, thinking about all different types of lending, um, or even as, as um, kind of the emerging field of crypto and what it means and, and not just um, commodity services, but how can we create value around our API ecosystem that can really deliver um, something compelling for our customers and, and ultimately their customers. Um, so the future is very exciting for Cross River. I'm, I'm glad to be here and, and part of the journey. Um, and hopefully you'll um, be excited about finding out what we have coming up, as well as the the, uh, the tremendous capabilities that we have today. So, so check us out and uh, hopefully we'll talk soon.